was so it was such such a good story by Charlie based around the Yorkshire Ripper, not about him, but around it. And that time really and, and the the fear and the excruciating fear that women went through in that time period between uh, the late seventies to early eighties. Uh Julia's Mandol, she played the she was a hostel worker, a female hostel worker, who then encountered my character, Helen, who was a fourteen year old sex worker. But she didn't know that. So in the play you discover that as the as the show goes on. Um, and you had um Sharon's character, played by Tess. Um and they all all of the four women um all encounter one another and they're in completely different journeys. So my character gets taken to the hostel, there's no room in the hostel, but there's also a cur curfew, women are not allowed to be out at night at nine o'clock at this time. Um, there's no room in the hostel, so Julie's character, June, takes me to share a room with her daughter. Her daughter's um, got everything she could possibly want in life, lovely room, um, great school, everything that you'd want for your kid and then uh, so it basically that scene seems to be a highlight of a lot of people that seen it were confused um, we have nothing at all in common but then you watch our uh, friendship blossom and um, I encounter the, the police lady a lot um, but what's really interesting about her story as well is that although she was escorting women by herself escorting women off the streets um, at nine o'clock at night. She was knocking on the doors by herself, looking for this man, you know? So you really understand what it was like for her and her fear as well. Um, and Julie's character, June, and the fear for her, looking after these women that are putting themselves out there, knowing they're putting themselves out there. So when, when I discover that, I know that's what it is. I've been groomed um, by my boyfriend. It's a quick change from I can't, that's not what I am, don't, call, that's not, don't say that, to, all right, this is what I am, and putting herself out there. Sharon's character, she really gets involved with the feminist movement, um, the Reclaim the Night, the um, Big Bop Benefit, um, which is basically what they'd do is that they'd sell tickets, this is a true thing, they'd sell tickets and then they'd um, fundraise also for, because if, if you were on the streets at that, particular time and you were escorted off and fines were made so the tickets then would go to the women that were fined basically. Have you been to research and all like that? Did you have to do any research? On oh we did loads of research I think the first week of rehearsals were were mainly um, research because well we did obviously look into Peter Sutcliffe and um, I think that were necessary as we all did but we also, we just didn't want his essence or his ness in the room for too long. So we did look, individually look into his life and, and what potentially could have made him do what he did for so long. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the, the amount of research that was put into the characters by Charlie Miles, I think really, really spoke to us it was so truthful and I guess having that realization that you're a sex worker um, was hard to research so I guess a lot of it was me um, allowing myself to be put into that position and how I would react if I was doing something so innocently and not knowing I think when you strip it back I think as an actor you, you're you get used to putting yourself in other people's shoes and and finding out your true reaction, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did a lot. And, and Yorkshire women of the time as well, we, we scrolled back through archives, we, we did the videos, we did the, the articles. We also went to the Feminist Archive in Leeds and they had the, all the uh, Reclaim the Night posters and all the um, archive paper clippings of, of what women thought and how they were feeling and who it could have possibly have been. They were so interesting. So interesting, so cool, um, especially Rika and the night that sort of solidarity of women, you know, probably for the first time going, no, 
men need to come off the streets, not women. And, and what's really nice about that solidarity is that that's what we felt as an ensemble. We were like, yes. Do you know, like the rehearsal space, the rehearsal process was like none other. Like I'd come in in the morning, there'd be fresh baked goods on the table for breakfast and like, oh, it was just phenomenal. We put bunting up. Like we made it such a feminine space to be in, which I think really helped actually. That we, and so many people gave us feedback in the sense that us four women, although we're all so very different, we were, we were solid. Mm. We came as a, as a, a company.